Rawr. Sweet chrome gas cap. An F900. <laughs> She's a really big kitty. <laughs> Honda will sell a ton. New Tilly here. <laughs> <laughs> it's double Tilly day. Don't want none of this, son. That's a lot of mustard on that hog. <laughs> As long as we can be on two wheels, you know what? We're having a good day. Good morning. Welcome to vlog 16, Dirt Bike Magazine's YouTube channel, where we do a little behind the scenes of what we're up to, what we're shooting, what we're riding, just, and you get to know all the editorial staff of Dirt Bike, and uh, yeah, just what we do. Today, believe it or not, I, I'm actually really surprised. We have a Honda XR. I haven't seen an XR on a Honda in quite some time. We got a sweet chrome gas cap. That's cool, some kind of Snoop Dogg looking stuff there. But pretty pretty cool that uh, we have a Honda XR in the lineup. And then we have some kind of BMW ADV thing. Now, last week I was with the Yamaha crew in Col Gunnison, Colorado, beautiful area, uh, first time not riding an ADV bike. I've actually ridden them before. I rode with Mark Tilly out the Salton Sea scouting for a Cody web shoot. And, uh, but th that was mellow. You know, we were on fire roads. This last trip, I, it could have been mellow, but I was with a, a group where half the group split off and took the mellow route. And I was kind of peer pressured and told it wasn't gonna be that bad by Ryan Villapoto and Damon Bradshaw. Now, I should have known better and I paid the price, but it took about four and a half hours to go three miles. So I got very well acquainted with the Yamaha T7 and I can tell you it survived the trip. Um, I'm still sore from it. Tilly's unloading right now. Tilly, what what is this thing? It's an F900 BMW. Yeah, it's uh, BMW's 900 adventure bike. I don't really know what it's supposed to compete with except for maybe a 890 KTM adventure. And then I think Triumph has a tiger. A tiger? So, yeah. The, Rawr. <laughs> just like the Arctic thing. Yeah. The Arctic leopard? Yeah. It's uh, Well, it's it's a little bit bigger So it's a tiger. So everyone's playing with kitties now. Until they bite you. And then that's no fun. Or, and they claw you. Or they so, put you in the litter box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. At the magazine, we get to do a lot of different stuff. I'm usually the one that's supposed to jump these things and weaving them and do all kinds of stuff. Um, but we've kind of, uh, we, we had a little bit of a history with, uh, with back in the day jumping Harleys and uh, some very notable people jumping Harleys and doing stuff like that. But, you know, it, it's kind of the two ends of the spectrum in the adventure world. It's a, I mean, you can have everything from dual sports to like the one that you just saw with the XR throwing it on the back of the motorhome and just going, you know, going camping and making it to where you just go get food with that or whatever. And that could be an adventure bike. Um, it, adventure bike seems like, or uh, our buddy uh, TJ goes, you know, dry camping in on his adventure bike. He's got all kinds of outfits and stuff like that and there so there's a broad spectrum of adventure so it's kind of cool there's there's a bunch of different stuff you can do we're up here in the san Bernardino mountains uh having some fun but you know it, it's kind of a, a cool thing to where we can experience that i mean yesterday i was riding a dual sport ktm dual sport and then jumped on this bmw uh jacob's actually here today with me with us my son he's gonna ride the xr yesterday he was on a uh an electric bike of some sort that uh we were testing a i think it's a electric motion or something something along those lines but you know kind of a suron style but more of a trials bike so you know it's just a a fun thing we get to we get to test all kinds of stuff and then tomorrow we're gonna be at a track and we're gonna be testing out some project bikes so just fun stuff yeah this bike's uh pretty interesting i know the t7s in the 400 pound range do you know what this weighs this has to weigh more than uh, that. yeah I, I would say so this is a big girl yeah she <laughs> she's a really big kitty that's for sure but like i said that's the the cool part about it 
is that there's something for just about everyone, depending on what you're doing. Um, BMW for a long time has been a huge part and maybe on the higher end of the adventure bike Well, I think world. even like for us in California, CHP, uh, their motorcycles are BMW as well. Yeah, yeah, they used to be Kawasaki's back in the day and yeah. now they're uh, they're BMW's and that could... That just means we're paying more tax. We're well, paying too much tax. I mean, if... Well, if I'm gonna put it anywhere, I, I I don't mind putting it towards the cops and the fire. They, they need that the kind of stuff. Vic, dude? I mean, Crown but Vic will go 500,000. I, I know that... I, or I'm almost positive that the BMWs that the the police are riding on are all shaft drive. So less maintenance. Um, I know the working in the industry, uh, the Cowies ran a like a six 630 chain or something crazy like that. And they had to change them all the time. Like it was making so sure the BMW, that the BMW, they just lubed the shaft and pretty much it's good to go. I think so. I think hmm. so. As long as that, that shaft stays lubed, everybody's happy. But like I said, it, it's, it's great that there is all these options. Um, and this thing has, you turn it on it just like the BMW cars. It's got that, the keyless, uh, working on it, but there's all kinds of stuff you, you can do up here. You can customize it to what you want. Certain adventure bikes are better with traction control and ABS. Um, a lot of times being a moto guy or coming from off-road, I turn all that stuff off. That's what I did on the so, T7. Yeah, so That was the first thing I asked on the T7 when I was with Mike from Yamaha is just nuke this thing and make it as like- As moto-y as yeah, possible, Yeah, basically. pretty much make this a dirt bike. Yeah. I don't want any of the, the you know, bells and whistles. And, and this thing has all the bells and whistles, but then you have the XR that's in the back of the truck that is no frills. I mean, it's, you look at that thing and, and it looks like something, you know, kind of came out of uh, the 80s with the technology. You know what though? Kind of I'm a huge advocate for stuff like this, where it's just bare bones, especially for entry level. I feel like families, kids need a bike that is inexpensive within means inexpensive and easy to use and not crazy powerful no kid needs to start on a yz250f and get going i'm sorry that bike rips and it's well over 40 horsepower at this point that's more than some of the factory bikes had 20 years ago uh that jeremy mcgrath jeff and make those guys rode so uh having bikes like this they're a little bit more mellow it's a great entry level bike and it and it gets the kids involved without being too crazy uh, out of the gate. Well, again, like like you said, I 100% agree with that, especially on the moto side. We've lost the entry level kind of price point. I mean, Big it's time. an expensive sport. The side on adventure bikes, like I said, that it's so broad spectrum. You can come from a you know two three thousand dollar you know xr or a version of something like that even some stuff that's coming out uh overseas from overseas like it's a great thing so and then you come into like something that is a lot more uh i would say kind of the upper echelon with the bmws the triumphs the the ktm so it's great that they are still looking at at that price point stuff and I mean, Honda will sell a ton of those XRs and BMW on the other side will sell a ton of these 900s. So it's great to see. We're gonna ride them around some trails up here, do some uh, do some street riding and, and kind of go from there. So, you know, it's, it's all fun. If, as long as we can be on two wheels, you know what, we're having a good day. It's a special edition and special edition, why do you ask? Well, you have Mark Tilly, which they call him the old bull. And then you have Jacob Tilly, and they call him the young calf. So, you know, eventually Tilly, he'll be old news, uh, old Tilly, and then we'll have new Tilly here to shoot on because the old eventually, bull- Eventually, what do you mean eventually? Because <laughs> the old bull's getting slowing we're down. Try, we're trying to make this happen you know, we don't gotta sooner rather than later. Bring all the aspirin and lubriderm to lather you up anymore. He's, look at him, skin's good, he's looking good, the bones are working. Yeah, no, the, there's, there's no no need for Ben Gay in the morning no on that side. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's definitely a uh, an interesting thing. He's he's been able to do a couple a couple days straight with me. Get to see what I do and when I do it and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. It, it's nice that that we're able to. Now he's out of school. He's he's getting ready to go into high school. So it's uh, nice. it's kind of one of those things where it's I can kind of look at it and go, it's an experience thing, and you get to see open your eyes to maybe different uh, professions that are out there and uh, 
you'd have told me that this is what I was going to be doing when I was in high school, um, yeah, I'd have told you you were crazy. You can't make a living doing that. And, uh, you know, it's kind of cool. We get to do a lot of fun stuff. You guys get to see a lot of the fun stuff we do. Well, um, at least you went to high school and at least you're in high school because uh, pretty sure Jared just didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I would not argue with that one. I would definitely not argue with that one. But just like us, Jared's making a living in, in doing the doing something. I'm still trying to figure out exactly <laughs> what it is, but uh, he's making a living and, and uh, it's great to have him a part of the team. But like I said, this is stuff that Jacob gets to kind of see Okay, hey, it's not just riding motorcycles. We have we have to get up early. We have to go go somewhere and do stuff, and then we have to go and write about it. I was posting stuff Two Stroke Tuesday on the uh, website earlier. He kind of is understanding it a little bit more, but man, we get to have a lot of fun. All right, just getting some photos of or video of the Honda XR. Got a beautiful little lake in the background. Pretty cool. It's nice in Southern California. We still have a little bit of rain, water, and snow left from a wet winter. Great backdrop for, for a bike like this, and it's nice and quiet. It's double Tilly day. There's one Tilly, and there's two Tilly. Look at him go. You should drag race your dad. Oh yeah, that's just so funny. You don't want none of this, son. I like when you have your, you have like a bug shield. <laughs> it's like a mute button. Can't hear me now. It's Ron. Ron, I can't hear you. I don't know what store you want. Sorry, I can't. Well, and if I'd have been thinking about it, these Cardo systems are pretty cool. I should have put one on his helmet oh, so I could just talk sick. to him. But these things are so cool. Like, they work really good. He's giving it the mustard. That's a lot of mustard on that hog. <laughs> <laughs>
loading up. That's it. Two more videos down. One Tilly, the other Tilly. Double the Tilly, double the fun. That's what they say, uh, Dirt Bike Magazine. And soon Austin will be it, so it'll be triple Tilly. Triple Tilly time? Yeah. That's uh. Triple the Tilly, triple the fun. Everybody could be so lucky. I, uh, I gotta hand it to the people who did this ramp. Step ramp, like for loading adventure bikes, for loading anything, like, there's a lot of stuff that we get in the magazine and uh, we kind of, it disappears. I have one, Ron has one, and we fight over it. But this thing, if uh, if you're loading bikes by yourself, it's got a ramp on one side and a step on the other. Like, I just loaded this BMW by myself. Like Yeah, you can't beat that. that I mean, that's just awesome. <laughs> like, that's really cool. But we did, we got to have a lot of fun today. Um, riding around on the trails, uh, Jacob got to do some dual sport goofing. Yeah, and we uh, uh, had a little tip over there. Yeah, he uh, he found the rocks up here aren't as forgiving. And as maybe the uh, the rocks on maybe a, a motocross course or something like that. And found out that the old XR uh, might not have the suspension that his YZ125 has. So uh, he finds out that you don't have to be going fast to uh, to tip over and, and uh, feel it a little bit. Overall so, solid day? Yeah, overall solid day. Um, still kind of impressed with what the XR will do. Impressed with what the uh, big old F900 will do as well. You know, on the, you'll see, as you can see in the video, we're doing some single track and some, uh, some fire road stuff and so it, it's a it's a fun time i mean it has a enduro mode that that kind of gets you a little bit more off-road worthy and it's comfortable on road for sure that's uh that's definitely a nice thing well that's it uh vlog 16 uh we shot the bmw f900 and we shot the xr yeah the xr it's an, an entry level and affordable bike uh that's really cool and at dirt bike we like to show all kinds of different motorcycles yeah high end which you saw even with like the bmw uh pretty big price point and then uh the xr which is completely on the other side of the spectrum but that dirt bike you'll see that other other titles you're all you're gonna see is race stuff um so it's pretty cool we get to test all this and we had a beautiful area to film some of the gear um the new x5 helmet um from Arai, uh, equipped with a Cardi Cardo system. Uh, Ron got this at the, the intro. And then we have the Showy Adventure helmet as well. You know, we have lots of cool stuff. I was in climb gear, CD boots, and I think Jacob was in some fly stuff in a, in the Showy helmet. But you know, the, the gear is just as important as the, uh, as the bikes. Sometimes you get out in the middle of somewhere and uh, you don't have the right gear and you're you're kind of kind of screwed a little bit um so but we've, we've definitely had both we've, we've had gone in the right area with the right gear makes it just way more enjoyable so make sure when you're uh when you're looking for the kind of adventure bike and stuff that you're gonna do search it out i mean don't just listen to us um there is some people that just do full-on adventure stuff all the time they live it and then there's you know some people that that are kind of doing stuff a little bit lighter so there's uh search it out um look at some of those other uh other outlets and uh see what works for you well that's it kind of a short day but we got some photos some video uh some social media stuff and you'll see tests on each of these uh bikes individually on our youtube channel thanks for hanging with us for the day as always subscribe on the youtube channel head over to dirt bike magazine we, we're always posting stories reviews tests all the good stuff's on there uh but until then we'll see you down the trail